Jemson Entertainment. Hello and welcome back to Throwback Thursdays. More American Graffiti. The sequel to American Graffiti. And it is better. The first one, a little more slow paced and it all, it was all one space. I mean, yeah, there were different stories going on, but it was all one story. This one is told in a similar manner, but it's told in three different time periods in the 60s, and the, the, the overall focus is like the Vietnam War. Uh, it takes place in 1964, following John, from who's the uh, racer. 1965, following Terry over in Vietnam, and his whole spiel is desertion. <laughs> yes, I realize that's something that happened during Vietnam and the controversy of that war. I won't go into anything because I didn't grow up in that time period and I just don't know much about it. I know mostly from movies, unfortunately. should know more history than I do. Uh, 1966 is following Steve and Lori in their married life and 1967 is following Debbie the uh, the girl that Terry hung out with the night that uh, American Graffiti takes place the annoying part of this movie is when it focuses on Debbie they're they're split screens so it focuses on the moment from different perspectives and it shows you all at once. Or it shows you, like, it shows you some of like, the, the past stuff, some stuff that's happening now, and then stuff that's going to happen all at once. And it, it's a little annoying at first. And it gets a little easier once you watch it, but I don't know. It just, it's, it's only for one time period it's not for the entire movie so just be nice to have consistency of filming instead of having two different styles in there so john has gone from street racing to professional racing independently and he would like to race for a company uh the factory and he did have an an offer there but it wasn't a real offer it was it was like he would work in the pits instead of be a racer and that's not what he was thought he was signing up for and so he doesn't sign the contract for that and he continues to be an awesome racer on his own even beating the company Terry starts out with him trying to shoot himself in an elaborate fashion of his machine gun tied to a tree and he's has his he has the barrel to the to his arm Parts of this movie made me feel uneasy. I understand where they're coming from. And I understand the time period. So it doesn't sit well with me. But it, it's history. There's a lot of history that doesn't sit well with me. There's a lot of history that doesn't sit well with most of humanity. But we're humans. It's going to happen. Steve and Lori are having a marriage feud. Lori wants to work. And Steve... He's just being, I guess, a man of the time and doesn't want his wife to work. So they kind of paint him as the perfect ass, but they resolve their conflict. She storms off to her little brother who's in college, who's actually a protester against the Vietnam War. You see somewhat of how that went down at the time period of how they would protest on campuses and then the police would come in and brutally apprehend them. She gets tied up in that because she doesn't want to deal with her husband. And then Steve is only trying to get back to his wife and resolve the conflict. And yeah, even though he's, I mean, he starts by putting his foot down and then he's like, well, you can get a job in a couple years. And she still just like refuses to, to give in to him. And at one point he, he finally realized like, okay, I want you to be happy with her, so whatever you want to do, that's great. And their conflict is resolved. And with Debbie, she is a hippie. She goes from dating this one guy who gets in jail because they get pulled over for possession of, well, possession of weed, but only he got taken in because I guess, yeah, the joint was found on him. 
she bends over backwards to help this guy out because she sees other people in her life that got on with theirs and she kind of feels like she's stuck. And so she tries to talk to him about marriage and stuff and she sticks with him as much as she can. She even He's a mu musician and he, she even tries to get him a guitarist part in a band. And she travels with the band convincing them to take him on. Later on to find out that when, at one of the gigs she's with the band that he's dancing with another woman and she punches his lights out and Debbie decides to go with the band finishing her story arc. I knew I said before in a later video, earlier video, that I would be more vague in these, but I mean, the story is really kind of basic, not really spoiling much. I, I really gave you a synopsis, not really in depth. The movie is very fun, it's exciting, it's got more action in it, partially because of the Vietnam War. And I relate to it better, not because of the time frame, but because of some of the issues. The Mostly the issues of Debbie, I, I relate there. I feel a little stuck. I am working towards my goal. It's just a part that I can relate with. And each video is getting me closer to my goal. What's my goal? Well, I'm putting together a promo so you'll learn about it soon enough. Tomorrow is some trivia on Harrison Ford who did make a cameo in this. He's now a police officer. He, he's the police officer that pulled over Debbie and her boyfriend at the beginning of the film. I didn't recognize his voice when he was trying to pull them over but as soon as they got the camera on I was like ah look Harrison Ford. <laughs> so tomorrow Harrison Ford. On TV Tuesday, I'm going to talk about Frasier. If you like what you saw, like it. If you think other people will like it, share it. If you really liked it, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned. Live your imagination.